while it's true that many Americans are affected by the flight delays, it seems that people of means, businessmen, members of Congress, will be most affected traveling all the time. So what I don't understand is why the president didn't say, okay, you know, Republicans are agreeing to this, but you're going to have to very poor being affected by the sequester. You know, if you're going to fix this for people who fly, we're going to demand that something be done for Head Start, uh, for senior, uh, poor seniors, for something for the most vulnerable who are affected too. But the president does insist that Congress take action uh, to eliminate the harm being done by the sequester. Wow. And the harm, uh, so you're suggesting we should hold hostage American travelers to uh, Congress's refusal to act. Or I want to know why you're not using that the, leverage. The, the fact is, Zach, we support an effort here underway in Congress to take care of this problem. And we are highlighting, as I am today, the fact that it is a Band-Aid solution that deals with one half of one percent, not even, of the sequester. And that the responsible and right thing to do by Congress is to address the entire sequester and the harm that it's doing to families across the country and communities that depend on defense industries by eliminating it, by, you know, you know, reversing themselves and their folly when they declared it a, they, the Republicans in this case, declared it a victory, a great thing for them politically and the Tea Party. Uh, I don't think Americans who have uh, suffered under this, either because they've been laid off or furloughed, uh, I don't uh, feel that way. And, I, and I'm sure that families who uh, have been dealing with the fact that their child is no longer in Head Start feel that way. I'm sure that Americans who have been delayed in airports for hours feel that way, uh, unless they're just devoted Tea Party members. So even as they're sitting on the tarmac for three hours, they can say, well, this feels like victory. Uh, I doubt it. So uh, the Congress needs to do something about it. They need why, to take action. Why not wait a week or two more and see and say to Congress, we're not going to sign this bill unless you do something that really protects the most vulnerable in society, and that we can deal with people who We're calling on Congress to do that. We're not going to, uh, we, we, we will sign, I think you're, you're imagining leverage here, Zach, the, the, uh, that is about political gamesmanship. We're about trying to get stuff, getting things done here on behalf of the American people.